Welcome to AlgebraClass.com. In this example, we're going to be looking at graphing slope. We're going to take a look at example number two, which asks us to graph a line that has a slope of negative three. We know that the definition of slope is rise over run. Negative three is a whole number, so we need to make this whole number a fraction so that we can utilize the rise over run definition. We know that we can make any whole number a fraction simply by putting it over 1. Because negative 3 divided by 1 is still negative 3, so we haven't changed the value of the slope. We've simply written it as a fraction. Now, the definition for slope rise over run is a set of directions. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to plot our first point. So as in the example, I'm going to plot my first point at 0, 2 on the axis there. Now the slope is going to tell us in what direction we need to go in order to plot the next point on the graph. The rise tells us how far we need to go up or down from that point and the run tells us how far we need to go left or right. So the slope is simply a set of directions. A slope of negative 3 means that we need to rise negative 3 and run 1. Now, rise negative 3 means that we need to go down because the 3 is negative. So from our point 0, 2, we're going to go down 3. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3. Now, negative 1 is not labeled on this graph, so I'm going to stop midway between the 0 and negative 2. Now from here, we still need to complete the directions by running left or right. So since the 1 is positive, we're going to run to the right. And that is where we're going to put our second point. Okay, from this point, we can continue again. We could rise negative 3, which means to go down 1, 2, 3, and run 1. And this is where we would put our next point. And you can do this as many times as you need to, to be able to draw that straight line. Okay? If the rise were positive, then you would go up. And if the run were negative, then you would go left. So just think of the slope as a set of directions. Once you have two or three points on your graph, you can draw a straight line through those points. And I would recommend using a ruler to draw that straight line. So draw a straight line through your points, and this is the graph that represents a slope of negative 3. And you can also put arrows on the end of your line to signify that this line could go on to infinity. Okay, and that is our lesson on graphing slope.